Please tell me it's a Tesla coil. Please tell me it's a Tesla coil. Jesus Christ, please tell me it is a Tesla coil. I'm going to the out room right... Oh wait, this is the way to the fourth floor. Huh, cool. Please tell me it's a Tesla coil. That would be so much fun. Oh wow, it's got like a whole physics thing. Tesla coil, come on, come on. That would be so much fun. That thing could? That wouldn't be a Tesla coil. This is the physics lab. It's less like a classroom, more like some kind of research institute. Yeah, I just don't know what that thing is. What is that? What's up with this ridiculously big machine? Watch out! Ooh, Monokuma! What? What? You want to do some quantum leaping? Ah, I see what you did there. Oh. That's a time machine! Pretty awesome, right? It was designed by a student right here at Hope's Peak. The ultimate physicist. Although they don't go here anymore. They died during the tragedy. A time machine? Seriously? So it can go back in time? Okay then, let me get in there. If I can go back to the past, then I can... This time I'll stop Mondo for sure! Oh, sorry, not possible. This particular time machine can only go back one minute. It comes in handy when you, like, leave your pizza bagels in the microwave one minute too long. One minute? Oh god, you made him cry. Monokuma, stop giving him hope and then turning it into despair. Oh, you sound disappointed. But actually, I was lying about the whole thing anyways. There's no such thing as time machines. Yet. What? Hey, um... Honestly, it's just an air purifier. Air purifier? It can produce clean air no matter where you're at. With that thing, you could l even live on Mars. But, but what with the discombulating gravity and deadly low temperatures, you probably don't want to live on Mars. Anyway, this machine is the reason you guys all have this delicious air. So don't go messing with it. You break it and it's your butt. I mean, my lungs. This huge thing is just an air purifier. And more than that. Oh god, it's back on being blue in the face. To go out of your way to say something you know will hurt someone else who's already suffering. God damn you, you so psychopath. Wait, I get a coin for talking to Monokuma? What am I, a whore? You talk to me and then you give me a coin to leave? He doesn't pay me to stay, he pays me to leave. This machine obviously has some kind of purpose, but I don't know anything about physics to begin with. I wouldn't have a clue where to start with this. He just told you it's an air purifier. God, Nagy, do you not pay attention? Oh, there's a surveillance camera. There's a surveillance camera in every room. Oh, yeah, what's in here? Nike. Nike. It's time to cook. This is the equipment room. It's super disorganized, and there's a strange chemical smell in the air. <gasps> this place is so relaxing, so calming. The smell of formula hide is the most unbearable. It's so tempting! Oh, I just want to dunk myself right in it. I don't even know what that is. Of course Genocide Jack likes it. No, that's probably Genocide Jill. That just goes to show how disgusting it really is. Something you don't understand is not necessarily disgusting. Pendulums, wheels, rail segments, all the equipment is scattered all over. They're all covered in dust too. They obviously haven't been used in a long time. Big surprise! This this is a top. There isn't anything strange about it. it. Seems perfectly ordinary to me. Except there's a coin in it. Whatever. I'm not spending time with a serial killer. No offense. I've got slightly more interesting people to spend time with. I better look around a bit more. Fine, I'll talk to him. Hey, Target, don't you think this place is some kind of research institute? Still no reaction. He's broken. What better 
What are you talking about? I just clicked everything. What do you mean I have to look at more shit? Do I have to talk to Toko or some crap? All right, let's go talk to Toko. Oh shit, I forgot to go to the sauna and check out the laptop. What was I thinking? Okay, tell me something I don't know, babe. Oh, it really is unbearable. A nice long bath in a tub of... What? You're saying the same shit. What did I miss? Okay, I, I clicked this thing. Where do I click this fucking thing? Oh, there's the door. Oh, the camera! The f Am I blind? Oh, this is... It's a digital camera. It's got some weird anime style on it. It's kind of beat up, but it looks like it still returns just fine. Yep, it still works. I should show the others later. Is that it? Oh, thank Christ. Well, that physics lab was boring as shit. It's just got a massive air purifier. Dude. No, dude, dude. Seriously, if we get weed and put it in the air purifier, everyone's gonna get high. Could you imagine you turn the entire school into a drug den? Sweet. So you're stuck in a school for God knows how long. You might as well get high once. Why does this look like dead? Oh, it's an art place. Oh, this is cute. First glance looks like any normal art room. But there's something seems off. Or multiple somethings. Well, you've got statue of Monokuma. Our glorious overlord. Is this the statue of Monokuma? Who would ever want to make something like this? Still, the quality is surprising. I would want to make something like this. I would want something like this. Uh, is this some kind of emperor? Uh, boobies? It's a Venus statue. Yep, definitely very artist room. Oh wow, a Venus statue. Congratulations. And you've got some sort of demon in the background. This is a statue of Nio. I've never really heard of anyone using a Nio statue for live drawing classes or whatever. I'm surprised you even know who that is, because I don't. <laughs> well, well, look at all this equipment. It certainly scratches the artistic itch of mine. Why the fuck is my nose itchy? Art supplies, of course. But they've also collected all kinds of sculpting tools. No, don't get any ideas. So, you for me, do you like sculptures and figurines and yes, stuff? Yes, indeed. Well, normally I limit myself to 2D, but figurines are like borderline 2D, so it's okay. I don't know how that's borderline, but okay. <laughs> I'm a fan of Charanbo, pumpkin head, and I especially admire anything that Saburo Romponji makes. Char Lambo's ability to express the movement of muscles is exquisite, as seen in his Mana Cat series. Pumpkin Head is like a little sculptor fairy representing this century's greatest quality. Saburo Romponji, meanwhile, is known for his Mecha Museum series, which led to a worldwide tour. <laughs> Truly, they can only be regarded as the Elite Four. Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon. But one of your elite is missing! You know nothing. Well, the elite three just sounds stupid now, doesn't yes, it? Indeed. Beside that empty seat rightly belongs to me! <laughs> you're part of the elite four, you're not even the champion. <laughs> <laughs> it begins. Today begins my reign as the legendary ruler of the next century! I see. Well, good luck with that. Yeah, good luck with that. Oh, God. We've got... Oh, a um, picture of something. Can I look at it? Oh, lockers. But it doesn't seem like there's anything inside. Well, that's fucking useless, isn't it? Yay, drawings! I can put them up on my fridge. Crappy graffiti. <laughs> Are you gonna tell that to your kid, Nike? Make him cry? You're a terrible parent. Oh, yeah, what's in the back room? Please tell me there's some acid or something. Ah, <laughs> mallets. You can whack someone over the head. Wait, is that... Mondo and Leon? This is the repository that's attached to the art room. It's used to store different artsy things. Wow, aren't you shy? Wait, what the fudge? There's something on the floor. 
It looks like a picture. But as I stretched out my hand to pick it up, almost as if on its own, my hand froze. Huh? Dude! Look at those fucking arms! Those biceps! Those triceps! Those shoulders! That cha Holy fuck, you're ripped! Why are you such a pussy? Huh? What I saw in that picture was Chihiro Lee in a mondo. And they were smiling! What is this? Questions started racing through my head, one after the other. Why is it only these three people? What are they doing together? How come they're smiling like that? Have you not heard of something called a train? Because from what I've seen, Chihiro likes to be a girl, Mondo seems to like to spend a lot of time with guys, and Leon's got the whole fabulous thing going for him. When was it taken? Who took it? Where's the camera they used? how they get it developed? And in the picture, the window in the classroom, there's no metal plate covering it! Which must mean, whenever this picture was taken, it wasn't here at Hope's Peak. But there was no time to find an answer. Wait, why are all the dead people in one photo? The fuck? All the questions floating around my head were quickly drowned out by... That's mine! Give it back! Monokuma appeared out of nowhere and snatched the photo. And any chance I had at answers evaporated. You peaked, didn't you? Well, they all had some pretty dazzling smiles, huh? They were definitely living their school life. It's like they ripped a page right out of the book of you. What's going on with that picture, do you know? I'm not telling you nothing. Son of a bitch. Why can't you give me a straight answer? Never mind, I don't even know why I bothered asking. God, why is my nose so itchy now? Why is my head itchy? Am I dying? So much caffeine. Hmm, I discovered lots of stuff, and it was all strange, but I don't know if any of it was actually a clue. I'm getting more confused. Maybe I should head to the dining hall and ask about it with everyone else. I'm not walking all the way back there! But now I should head to the dining No, don't put me back! No! I haven't taken my Kuma coins! God damn it, you little son of a bitch! It says daytime, but the window clearly shows that it's afternoon or raining. When I got back to the dining hall, the first thing I noticed was... <gasps> Hina? I tried to talk to her, but my voice was immediately drowned out by the others as they rushed into the dining hall. Hina! Huh? Oh, I thought she was sick or something. Everyone rushed past me and crowded around Hina. Like they've never seen someone that was previously sick before. How... Dramatic? Being surrounded by everyone like that, Hina looked really uncomfortable. Yeah, cause you're all freaking surrounding her like it's... I am not saying the word. Hina. Are you feeling better already? <laughs> yeah, I ate a few donuts and that really helped a lot. Do love those donuts. Mm. But wasn't it your stomach that was hurting? I'm... I'm pretty sure having your monthly pain doesn't stop you from eating comfort food, Celeste. Please don't tell me you're a guy as well. Please don't tell me every single girl in this place is a guy. Please. Because that would suck. Oh my god, those piercing red eyes. What's up with me? I don't know. Would you, if you were stuck in this place, who would you, if you had a choice? I won't judge. If you feel uncomfortable to put in the comment section below, you can just message me. Who would you, if you were stuck in Danganronpa, like DR1, and you were stuck for an indefinite period of time, who would you go for? I mean, you've got no magazines, so you gotta pick someone. And this applies to the girls too, because you've got an equal number of guys as well. Who would you, if you had to pick? You can message me if you want, I won't judge. I mean, I've been honest with you guys. Time you should be honest with me. Sandbox rules. I showed you mine, you show me yours. Well, 
Well, my stomach ache kind of made me hungry, so, you know. <laughs> she was probably just hungry. <laughs> I guess my memory's kind of fuzzy lately. Hmm. They say that a goldfish will eat however much food you give it, even if it's about to burst. No, you're thinking of dogs. Mm. Miss mm. Asahina, pretty much the same, mm. it looks like. You're one to talk. Just a second. Hey, you of all people don't have any... <laughs> I-508. Bam! I like you. Well. Anyway, I was worried about Sorry. you. Beside that, you... Huh? Jeez, your knockers are huge. What the heck? Did you convince them to double up on milk production? <laughs> Jill, I like you too. I think we just upgraded the quality of our girls. Bastard! Whoa, shit, she's about to turn fucking Super Saiyan. She looks like Brawly or... She looks like Brawly. Is that where they got the inspiration for sh Sakura? Because Sakura means flower. Ogami, I don't know what it means. Because Okami is wolf. But I don't know what Ogami means. Does Ogami mean ogre or something? And she looks like Brawly from Dragon Ball Z. Stay away from her, fiend. Uh, um... Anyway, first things first, we should talk about what we found, right, Tucker? Great, he is still broken. And somehow went upstairs to the third floor to be broken, and then came back downstairs to be broken. I wish my nose would stop being itchy. Right. Uh, wasn't everyone spread out throughout the fucking school? How'd they all end up here all of a sudden? Whatever. Like, he's broken. He's not gonna say shit. This guy's got nothing useful to say. This guy's just gonna, like, 2D me. I'm talking to the crazy girl. Mm, yes, yes. The long road to maidenhood begins with a single step. That road may begin with only wrinkly old men, but it will end with strapping young adorable boys. <sighs> What the heck are you talking about? <laughs> you know what they say, crazy girls, crazy in bed, right? Correct. <laughs> she heard me! She agrees with me! There was a rather remarkable physics lab on the third floor. In the middle of the room, there was a machine bigger than anything I've ever seen before. Oh, so you like big machines, huh? Oh yeah, apparently it's an air purifier. Huh? Huh? What's something like that doing here? I am beginning to think that I need to revoke your right to speak. Is the device really that big? Oh my god, and you're fucking winking. And a weird question just came to my head, which I am scared to say. <sighs> what the fuck is wrong with me? Okay, I'll just share it anyway. The question that came to my head was, what kind of device is Sakura thinking of? Is she thinking of... a circular device? Or a cylinder-like device. It's probably best to keep that kind of thing between you and your internet service provider. Let's just leave it at that. I'm not doing any more explaining because I already sound perverted as fuck. Hmm. I really don't get it. That's good, Aoi. That means you, you, you are a wholesome girl that I would not be worried to bring to dinner to meet my parents. Good ratios, by the way. He's still broken. <laughs> oh. 
I'd be scared to bring you to meet my parents. They would probably love you, but I would probably be scared because I think you'd kill my puppy. There is one piece of good news. There just so happens to be a rec room up on the third floor. I have no doubt that our student life here will be ever more enjoyable because of it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Will someone join me in a game of Thello sometime? Nagi, get in there, boy! Nagi, get in there right now! Right now, Nagi! Hmm. I searched the entire third floor, but all the windows and the halls in the rooms were blocked off. Ugh, <sighs> uh, I wish they'd give us a rest already. For serious, give me back my bright blue sky. You have a fucking window to your left! Just look left! I want to fucking kill you! <laughs> Just forget about it. There's a freaking wall! Oh my god. Please, like, that's not a fake screen, right? That's a window, right? That is a massive fucking window where you can see the sky and the trees, right? Unless that entire gray thing behind them is a giant wall, which would make sense because in earlier days it was bright white. Impossible. You make it sound like I dropped a nickel or something. No, you're short a few nickels in your head. Huh. Just to be sure, I went from one end to the other, testing each metal plate. None of them budged. You're winking at me. I, I, I don't know what sort of innuendo this is. None of them budged? Testing each metal plate. None of them Oh, crap. You're talking about how hard the metal is. Sakura-chan, can, can, why is everything that you say somehow related to Machibikuma? Or is that just how I'm interpreting it? Whoever wrote your dialogue, and the winking, the winking cannot be accidental. So in the end, it would seem escape via the third floor is as impossible as we feared. I see. Okay, I'm talking to Aoi. Um, I wasn't able to help much with the investigation, but I did make one discovery. Well, you didn't help with a first-class trial investigation because you were here drinking tea, and now you're just... whatever. Could it be... It didn't happen to be a donut-related discovery, did it? You shut up. Hmm. What does that even mean? <laughs> I like that face. What's wrong? Never mind, it's about the nurse's office, remember? There's one on the first floor, right? I remember, but it's locked. Yeah. Actually, not anymore. So, did you find any protein in there? Or even vitamin supplements would be fine. Oh, thank God you're not winking at me for that one. Hmm. I did look, but no dice. Just a bunch of headache medicine and over-the-counter stuff. I see. I see, that's disappointing. Hmm. It is disappointing, like the end of the world is already here. I'm not sure it's that disappointing. Is that it? Did I miss it? Oh, yeah, we didn't... No, we... Do I gotta talk to Hifume as well? Mm -hmm. There was an art room on the third floor and it had all kind of gear. <laughs> now I'll be able to recreate all my favorite anime characters. Oh my god. Oh yeah, speaking of anime, that reminds me. I found something while I was looking around. Perhaps. <gasps> A digital camera! That's what it seems like. Mm. Does it still work? Valid question. Yeah, it you seems know? fine. Well then, let's see it. No, I'm not giving it to you. You'll probably break it. What the heck? What the heck? This thing's like a kid's toy. It looks like it can store like five pictures, maybe. It doesn't have a timer or anything. Have you not heard of an SD card? Well... On top of that, its appearance seems questionable. Is this some kind of anime character? Strange. You know nothing. Rude! She's not strange. She's Princess Piggles from Demon Angel Pretty Pudgy Princess. Oh, you recognize this hit for me? Of course I recognize it! It's a super rare prize that was given away at a bingo contest at a big anime convention. You have any idea how much I had to pay that guy to get my hands on it? Six blowjobs? Yeah! Wait, that's my camera! What? Damnation. Where did you find it? In the physics lab? It's my most prized possession. I brought it here with me. But I lost it the first day along with my phone. Let's see. Why would it have appeared in the physics lab? However. Uh, but look at it. It's got all messed up. 
Like when someone steals a sticker from your collection or you buy a secondhand shirt. I never bought a secondhand shirt. Well, that's it. Huh? That's it? This it's not mint condition! I don't need it anymore! But weren't you just saying how much it meant to you? <laughs> then may I have it? I might be able to find some sort of use for it. If any of you would like to borrow it, please feel free to ask. What? She just fucking claims the bad thing? <sighs> well, I can't really imagine any of us are gonna need to take any pictures or whatever. Yeah, that's true. Oh, are you into that sort of thing, Celeste? Fine, I'll do your Lolita photo shoot if you want. Wait, you are in cosplay. You're always in cosplay. Why am I surprised that you like taking photos if you're always in cosplay? Why am I only noticing this now? I think it's still broken. It's no use. Can I leave now? Leaving isn't gonna do any good. I did not want to talk to this idiot! Hmm. Oh, I just remembered. I saw Byaku a little while ago. This guy is actually relevant for once. What? Where? Where was he? You're kind of scared of me. Where was he? He was in the locker room. He had a huge sack of books he must have got from the locker room. So that's where he was hiding. I won't let him get away from me. <laughs> Great, we're gonna have another body. Huh? Just ran off? Is she okay? We should not concern ourselves with her. I know you want to be the center of attention, but you know, she's the serial killer after all. Okay, I've heard what everyone has to say. So now it's my turn. No, it's not. You, shut up. Hey, um, can I tell you guys something? Asking for permission. You're already losing status. I found something that's kind of been bothering me. What? What is it? Oh my god, you actually got her attention. Okay, Nike. Don't say something fucking stupid. I believe in you. I found this weird picture in the repository. Apparently Monokuma took it. A weird picture? You mean like dirty? She is so innocent. Nike, defile. Go! No, not that kind of weird. It was a picture of Leah, Mondo, and Chihiro all together. Why? Those three? Why do you look... You don't look disappointed, you look annoyed. Why do you look annoyed? Why, because you weren't in the photo? And the three of them were laughing. Oh. Um... It showed the three of them together laughing? When could it have been taken? And there's more. In the picture, there weren't any metal sheets covering the well, windows. Then. then the picture wasn't taken here. Let's see. But I don't recall hearing anything about them knowing each other before coming to this school. Oh. You probably just imagined it. Monokuma cast a spell on you. I'm gonna whack you over the head with a mallet. No, I saw it, I'm telling you. But if it wasn't taken before we got here or after we got here... I bet they're all still alive. They left the school and took that picture. Mondo is... Ch is butter. Chihiro was fucking dead and we had a corpse. And Leon was beaten to death with a bunch of baseballs. Pretty sure we saw it happen. Is that right? That's impossible after all. Yeah, see? We saw it with our own eyes. See? The girl's smart. They're all dead. Either murdered or executed. And they're not the only ones. Oh, shit. Monokuma killed Junko, and then there's... Oh, yeah, she's also dead. How could I have forgotten about Sayaka? With the stab wound between the stomach and the heart. That wasn't an illusion. It was real, I'm sure of it. They're all dead, and there's no way any of them are still alive. Unless someone gathered the Dragon Balls, because those Dragon Balls can do anything. Who would have thought that grabbing the Dragon's Balls could grant you a wish? So, we have to figure out when that picture was taken. 
Monokuma most likely forged it. I can't imagine any other possibility. Forged? Is that all there is to it? <sighs> Stay focused, man. Don't let Monokuma's bullcrap sidetrack you. He's right, but more importantly, on another topic, there is something that has been bothering me. I would like to discuss that. Yeah, sure, go back to being the center of attention. Ugh. Really? I, 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 I have to talk to you? I started hitting random buttons on the keyboard. You just need to hit one. Under display, instantly began to glow a pale green. That is not pale green! That is fucking blue! The laptop is green! Who the fuck translated this game? There were a bunch of different icons on the desktop. This surprises you how? 